When you have a crush on someone, every interaction can feel like a potential clue to their feelings. Microflirting involves those subtle, often unintentional gestures and behaviors that suggest someone may be interested in you romantically. In this video, we'll explore the signs that go beyond mere friendliness and could indicate your crush has a romantic interest in you. Let's decide the subtle language of microflirting and find out if your crush is dropping you hints you shouldn't miss. Playful teasing. Do they always tease you? For example, they say things like, Another selfie? You must be trying to break the internet with your amazing duck face skills. Microflirting also involves light-hearted teasing, creating a sense of intimacy and comfort. Backhanded compliments allow someone to test the waters and see if you respond in a favorable manner. Teasing conversations include not talking about anything substantial, but sending out flirty signals all the same. This is a surefire flirting sign, whether in person or over text. While not the most straightforward way to flirt, it's extremely common for people who don't want to make their intentions obvious. Eye contact. Do they have a hard time taking their eyes off you? If they maintain eye contact for longer than usual, it can be a sign of microflirting, even after you've broken eye contact. Researchers found that participants who gazed into each other's eyes for prolonged periods were more likely to report feelings of affection for the other person. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. Social media. Social media makes it easy to flirt when it can't quite happen in real life. With all the content flying around nowadays, if someone takes the time to check out everything you post, you know there's more than meets the eye. If you notice someone consistently engaging with your content, such as frequently leaving heart emojis in your comments, it might be worth investigating further. They may comment on the social media posts with inside jokes you are not privy to, or like everyday posts and every single status update. It feels like they are closely following the other person's every move. Increased attentiveness. Do they have a habit of becoming all too charming around you every single time? And when you spend time with this friend of theirs, it feels as if their whole personality changes. They may become more outgoing than usual, which is different than their usual behavior when alone with you. Body language can easily give away indications of a romantic interest. Notice if they lean closer during conversations or mirror gestures or movements. Deep compliments. Has this person ever showered you with heartfelt compliments that go beyond the usual pleasantries? And not just superficial compliments, like saying you look pretty. They go a step further and give you more meaningful compliments, such as work ethic or skills. This indicates paying a lot more attention that is slightly more personal or specific than ones given in a friendlier context, and possibly even showing more appreciation than they do for you. Fidgeting. Yes, you heard that right. Those little fidgets and movements people make can actually be subtle forms of flirting. It's a non-verbal language worth decoding. That subtle tapping of fingers, twirling of hair, or even just playing with an object can convey interest, attraction, or even a hint of shyness. So, the next time you catch someone fidgeting during a conversation, pay close attention. It might just be their way of micro-flirting, saying more than words ever could. Using nicknames. When someone gives you a nickname or a special term of endearment, it signifies that they are taking the time to personalize their interactions with you. This means they are paying attention to you as an individual and want to create a unique connection. Nicknames and terms of endearment create a sense of intimacy and closeness. They often involve using pet names like sweetie, honey, or even more personalized terms that may be based on an inside joke or a shared experience. These terms can be used to create a private and special connection between the two of you. So how many signs did you relate to? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more different flirting styles, click here to watch. There are five flirting styles. Which do you have?